Good news for you on this hot summer day. You still have time to get today's Del Marva Life Daily Deal, and today's deal is only $15 for two admissions passes to the Concerts in the Country Series at Layton's Chance Vineyard in Vienna. And don't forget, you can get the Daily Deal on DelmarvaLife.com or download the free Del Marva Life Daily Deal app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android. It's so easy to get our great deals right in the palm of your hand. <laughs> Over the past several weeks, we've been introducing you to many of the animals at the various humane societies and SPCAs across Delmarva. All of them are waiting to be connected to their fur ever home. <laughs> Get it? Uh, this afternoon, Brian Spiros is at Safe Haven Animal Sanctuary in Georgetown. And Brian, we understand that you doing this segment has actually brought up some very good news. Very good news indeed, Jimmy. Some of the animals that we've been showing you in some of these segments have actually found homes. That is great news, and there are so many others that need homes, and we're going to introduce you to some of them today. But first, I want to introduce you to Ryan Griffith, who is the adoption coordinator here at Safe Haven. So the first thing, you know, all of the SPCAs and humane societies, they have so many animals, animals this time of year. What is your guy's situation? How many animals are you dealing with right now? Well, we're not a whole lot different than what they are. We are currently providing shelter for about 100 cats and 100 dogs at this present time. So we need the public to really come out and uh, take a look at our, our great animals here and, and find forever homes for them. So 200 animals in your care. We're going to introduce people now to some of them, so let's get started. So the first, we have Bob. We're going to bring Bob on over. Tell us a little bit about Bob. Hi, Bob is a, uh, a one-year-old, an estimated one-year-old hound mix. Um, he has been uh, altered. He is very friendly, super active, uh, needs an active household um, to get him out there and play. Uh, probably could use some training here and there just as many of the dogs who come to our shelter should. Lab hound mix and as you said someone who's going to be able to really devote some time to him because he needs training and, and some fine tuning. So That's right. That's right. But needless to say a, a beautiful dog who's looking for that forever home. All right Bob thank you very much we appreciate it. Next we have Indy another beautiful dog. I'm just going to Pass off there. Let's bring in Indy. All right, tell us about Indy, Ryan. This is Indy. She, he, uh, she is a about estimated five-year-old Shepherd Husky mix. Um, she's a little shy, but once she gets to know you, she's a really fantastic dog. She's been altered. Um, she's more. She's more likely to sit on your couch and just hang out with you at night more than anything. You said else. she likes to snuggle. She does. And would she be good for a family or really anyone? She'd be okay for a family. She's just going to take some time to get used to. You know, if there's kids in the household, um, just to you know get used to them. She's not. She's super shy. So right to get herself acclimated. Yes. And obviously, these are just two of the many dogs you have here. Too many of the wonderful dogs. So Indy, thank you very much. All right. So now we're going to bring in some cats. You guys have some great cats here. First, we have a cat named Kitten. Let's bring Kitten on over. Tell us a little bit about Kitten. Kitten is a two-year-old domesticated long hair. She's a calico mix. Um, she's been spayed. She's super friendly, loves to snuggle. Again, just wants to sit, on, sit with you on the couch. Um, but she's a really, really sweet little girl. And we've been talking too, what we've learned is that if people do plan on getting cats, it's sometimes good to get two of them because they bond and, and can keep each other company. And you That's guys right. have a lot of cats here. Absolutely, yes sir. All right, so very good. So thank you very much, Kitten. And finally, we have John. We're going to bring John on over, another beautiful cat. Tell us a little bit about John. You can come right in the middle here. John is, John is about a two-year-old male, neutered, uh, domestic short hair. Um, very friendly. He happens to be one of the ones who wants to meet everybody as soon as they walk in the door. Uh, incredibly friendly cat. Uh, loves to play. So he's a bit more active than what Kitten was. Um, but again, a very, very nice cat. Would make a great family cat. Right. A lot of great animals. All right. Thank you very much, John. We appreciate it. And we should mention, too, that basically, you know, people can come down, look at the animals, get to know them, and see if it's the right fit as well for the family. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, um, you know, all animals are different. All families are different. So it would be nice to have them come in and meet the animals and just to see what the best, best, best fit for them would be. All right, and you certainly have a lot of animals to meet. So Ryan, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Hopefully we're going to find home for some of these animals and so many of the other ones you have. We, we certainly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, very good. And if you would like more information on any of the animals we just introduced you to or the other animals here at Safe Haven, just go to our website, delmarvalife.com, and click on the show, the show tab. And you know, Jimmy and Lisa, I said last week, and I'll say it again, it is getting harder and harder for me every week. I want to take all of these animals home, but I can't. Depending on other people, come on and adopt them. Beautiful animals. We'll send it back to you guys. 
in the studio. Really gorgeous. And it's getting harder back here, too, to Tonight, see all Hey, of I got mine, so it's up to you now. Oh, ah, well, and speaking of <laughs> connecting pets to their forever home, we want to tell you about a new feature on our website, Pet Connect on DelmarvaLife.com. We have created Pet Connect as a free service to you to help lost animals get back home and for abandoned pets to find new homes. Now, if you've found or seen a lost animal, if you have lost a pet, if you're interested in giving an abandoned pet a new forever home, please use Pet Connect and share it with all of those friends and family and everybody in your social networks. Yeah, check it out, Pet Connect on DelmarvaLife.com. And as a matter of fact, uh, news is going to be talking here just a little bit about a lost service dog. Oh. So, you know, there's another great avenue to find out exactly what's going on there. Sure. Thank you for watching Delmarva Life. Be sure to join us tomorrow because a teenager practically blind from birth is proving that losing your sight doesn't mean that you've lost your life. She's showing kids how to make the most out of what you can do. Plus, a local man found out what it's like to lose the ability to walk after an unfortunate hunting accident. What motivated him to get back on his feet again and how he's helping others in similar situations. Now, you are probably seeing more scooters on the roads these days. They're an expensive and inexpensive way, I should say, to travel. But what happens if you're in an accident? What you need to know before you take two wheels on the road. And we have another round of Where is Brian? He gives us clues. We have to guess where he is. Sometimes we get it right, but most times we don't. We need your help. <laughs> All times we need your help. Uh, plus the Tomato Festival in Vienna Fest approaching. We are in the kitchen making a classic tomato recipe. Mm, and don't forget if you missed any of today's information, just visit DelmarvaLife.com. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.